Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'll show you four delicious ways you can use plantain. So if you're interested, keep watching, click the like button, don't forget to subscribe and grab a copy of my cookbook in the description box. For this we're going to be using unripe plantains. You can also use ripe plantains, it depends on how you're feeling at the moment. And then we're going to add onion powder, some salt, paprika, and then ground ginger. Now you're also going to spray with cooking oil or if you don't have spray oil you can just put vegetable oil and mix everything together. So next you're going to preheat your oven and then transfer everything to a baking tray and then just spread it around properly so that each chip will get some heat and make sure you come back to check it after 10 minutes and then flip it over. After about 20 minutes, this is what you should get. It was so good and you say it's extremely easy. For ingredients, I'm using beef. I have been delivered from goat meat. <laughs> I'm using spring onions. This is just to garnish plantains because this is beef dodo green pepper red bell pepper onion so that's all the ingredients you need you don't need a lot of things as with all meals we'll start by prepping the first thing i'm doing is cutting the beef into little chunks i should have done this where i bought it from but i did not know this was going to be the purpose for this beef in my life <laughs> it was when i got home i got inspired to use it for beef dodo we're cutting it into bite sizes because we want it to be the same size as the plantain now it is time to season the beef i'm using onions garlic powder ginger powder even onion powder i'm using ground red pepper i'm using everything that i have in my kitchen <laughs> but the thing is you can totally skip all of this and just use salt and onions and beef seasoning i'm just doing extra even though it looks like i'm doing extra it does add a nice flavor to the beef but i'm just letting you know you can do without all of this seasoning and just use the basics this beef is very soft and it cooks very quickly so i'm just going to add some water and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes it should be ready while the beef is boiling i'll prep the rest of the ingredients so this is bell pepper aka tatashe i'm just going to take out the seeds and then blend it so i'll blend the tatashe and i'll blend it with onion and this is what we're going to use to make the delicious sauce I already have a recipe for geese dodo on my channel and geese dodo is basically just gizzards and plantain. It is the same process as this recipe, it just for this one we are using beef, you can use gizzards and it will be just as good. After blending, I'm transferring to a pot and I'm going to boil it till most of the water leaves and this is just going to help me reduce the cooking time when I'm making the sauce. Next, I'll be prepping the rest of the ingredients and this includes the green bell pepper, red bell pepper, spring onions, plantain, we want to cut everything into nice shapes. I feel like prepping is a very important process of making food. <laughs> That's because the shape of the food or the pattern or the shape, like I said, is going to affect the way everything looks. And sometimes we eat with our eyes first before we taste the food. So always try to make sure things are looking good. I know it is not easy <laughs> because prepping seems to be one of my most stressful parts. <laughs> if I could keep prepping and then just go to, straight to cooking the food, I will be doing it. But prepping is very important and it's going to affect the total outcome of your meal. 
now i'm just cutting the plantains into cubes because like i said i want everything to be uniform so everything is cut into cubes while i'm cutting the plantain i'd like you to do me a favor all you have to do is click the like button on this video it is very important because it supports my channel and if you're watching to this point and you're not subscribed please click that subscribe button now that the meat is boiled i'm just going to transfer it to a plate so that all the water will drain before i fry it if you just put your meat straight into your fry pan, accidents will happen. So you want to avoid that. So after the beef has cooled, I'm just transferring it now to this pan with oil in it. I'm going to fry the beef till it is dark brown, like properly fried beef. And it was so hard resisting pinching from this beef. Now in the same oil, I'm transferring the plantain and it is going to get the flavor from the beef. Once the plantains are fried, it is now transformed from plantain to what? To dodo. Okay, this is what dodo looks like. <laughs> I love dodo. This is just how I like my plantain. How do you like your dodo? Do you like it soggy? <laughs> Some of you. <laughs> Anyways. In a pan, I'm going to transfer some oil. This is the oil from the beef and the plantain, so it has a lot of flavor going on right now. And I'm adding the onion first, just going to fry for a bit, and then I'll add the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper, and we're just going to fry everything till you start to perceive that bell pepper mix aroma. It has a scent or a flavor that you can perceive once you start perceiving it then you take it off the heat i like to do this thing where i take out a part of the bell peppers that i have already fried and just preserve it till the end of the cooking process it just adds more flavor towards the end especially as right now i'm using the tatashe um, paste i feel like it will just overcook by the time i am done and i still want the flavor from the bell peppers so now i've added the tatashe mix and i'm just going to fry it till it is cooked to season this dish i'm using thyme I'm also using some salt and then I'll be using some beef seasoning and that's all I need for this sauce to be complete. I'm just going to keep stirring till the sauce is done. Once I feel that the sauce is almost done, I'm adding the beef so that it can really cook inside the sauce. This is going to be so, so delicious. Sometimes I get questions like, how do you know that your sauce is ready? Or how do you know that it is cooked? I feel like I know just by seeing when the oil is separating from the paste. So initially when we were cooking, you noticed it wasn't separating, but now the oil has come out of the, <laughs> out of the tatashe mix. So as you can see, it looks different from when we started. And then of course you taste, taste to see if it is cooked. Now I've only added the beef and the next step is to add the du du, eh? The du du. I'm so excited. <laughs> This recipe makes me very, very happy because it transports me to a time where I discovered beef dodo. I discovered it in the abroad and I was like, why did I have to travel out of Nigeria to discover beef dodo? I've never had beef dodo in my life. And it was a wonderful discovery. I was obsessed with it for a long time. I always used to make my plantains like this, like plantain with beef or plantain and gizzard into beef dodo and since then i have not looked back it's a favorite to loosen the sauce i'm going to add a bit of the beef stock that's the water from the beef that i cooked earlier and then i'm just going to mix all of this oh i cannot go on i cannot keep explaining because you can see how good this looks we had it with rice 
just this with the rice you didn't need any extra sauce or stew on the side it was perfect now i'm adding the bell pepper i took away earlier and i'm just reintroducing it back into my beef dough dough okay <laughs> and then just mix everything together 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 and this is a beautiful marriage of beef plantain and peppers perfect for any occasion to be honest i can eat it alone like this i don't need rice i don't need anything to support it but so that it will not look like i have longer throats <laughs> so we had it with rice this is what my beef dodo looks like like i said you can substitute your gizzard for beef and it will be so delicious i hope you try this recipe if you do please tag me on facebook instagram twitter i'll love to see what you create and if you're watching and you're not subscribed please subscribe so i'll be using yellow pepper this is onion and pepper mix at Arodo, so I just blended it together. That's green pepper, and I'll also be using some red bell peppers. I'll be using smoked mackerel, I've already deboned it. I'll also be using tomatoes chopped. We'll be using eggs, about 10 of them. And then I'd like to add some vegetables. So this is ugu and uziza vegetable. I'm also going to be using plantain. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to cut my plantain to pieces and to fry them as dodo. Dodo is plantain for those of you that don't know. And then I'll just fry and then set aside. I told myself I am not going to touch this dodo as I was frying, but it was hard to resist it. <laughs> So let's face the eggs. We're going to be using about 10 eggs, depending on how large the pan you're using is. I'm going to be adding some white pepper, some salt, and I'm going to be using thyme and also this mixed pea ginger garlic mix. I really like it. So I'm going to be adding some of that and then just going to give it a good whisk. If you've been watching my CC Weekly Vlogs, then you know this is a new and favorite addition to my kitchen, this beautiful skillet. I have about two of them, this small one and then a bigger one. So in this skillet, I'm going to be frying the pepper and onion mixture. I'll add the green pepper, I'll add the yellow pepper, I'll also add the red bell peppers and just mix everything together. I love how beautiful it looks like. It's so pretty. I'm going to be adding some tomatoes now. I make sure I don't add the water from from the tomato and then we're going to add our smoked deboned as much as possible mackerel fish so stir the combination just keep stirring 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 and i'm going to be adding some seasoning the only seasoning i'm going to add actually is salt and curry After about two minutes, I'm going to add our vegetables, add it and then turn off the cooker immediately. You do not want to, to cook more than this. Next, I'm going to be adding our egg mixture. Just layer it and then put your dodo. We're going to make it pretty as much as possible. <laughs> so just keep layering your dodo. You can use any shape you like, like I said before, but the importance is that the dodo should be on top. After layering my dodo, I'm going to transfer the skillet from the cooker to the oven. The oven is preheated already, so it's very, very hot. And this is the beauty of having a skillet. It just goes from the top to the bottom, just like that. I'm in love with this thing. <laughs> if you have a baking dish, you can use that as well, but don't use your plastic handle fry pan for this, it will burn. So this is how our frittata looked. I'm just going to cut it open for you. It took about 20 minutes for it to get done. So you see how beautiful it was. It was so, so delicious with the fish, vegetables, everything. Mm. I want you guys to try this recipe and let me know what you think. The ingredient you need for this recipe is so simple. All you need is plantain and some vegetable oil, really. So I'm just going to peel the plantain and then you basically see what I do. So let's get cooking.
while I'm peeling this plantain and creating the opening for the filling, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button so that you get more awesome recipes straight in your inbox. And if you're subscribed and you did not turn on bell notifications, what are you doing? Turn on your notifications so that as soon as I upload a video, you get notified. Now that I have peeled the plantains, I'm just going to dip it in oil and fry it on both sides till I get my perfect brownness. Some people like their dodo light skin, some dark skin. I'm here for melanin, okay? So we are going to be having some melanated dodo. For the filling, you can use anything you like. I'm using beans, and this is not just any regular beans. This is minced beef beans, so it is extra special. As you're eating the plantain, you're tasting the minced beef, and you're tasting the beans, and everything is just so yummy in your mouth. You can use any kind of filling you want. You can use like asu, you can use like peppered gomo, whatever you feel like, fill your boat with. This is what lunch looks like for me today. So I hope you get inspiration from this and recreate it in your house. Please, if you do, tag me on social media because I love to see it. So tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even YouTube. Recreate it on YouTube. I would love to see it. If you want to see my beans recipe, let me know in the comment section or click the like button on this video. If I get up to 1000 likes, I will recreate the beans recipe immediately. So let me know. The first thing we'll do is season the goat meat. Lately, I've been into goat meat. Most of my recipes have been goat meat and you know just how it is. Sometimes you just have that craving for something so i'm on a goat meat diet right now all i've put is onion pepper fresh pepper salt and beef seasoning i'll add a little water to it stir it together and allow it to cook till it's soft Next, I'm going to prepare the plantains we'll use for this dish. I'm using almost ripe plantain. It looks a bit yellow, but it's not as ripe as you think. So this is almost ripe plantain and then unripe plantain because my son would prefer ripe plantain and my husband would prefer unripe. So I'm just doing a little bit for everybody. But the truth is, both the unripe and the ripe one, they were both so delicious. There are so many recipes you can create with plantain apart from like frying it, especially on ripe plantain and I have a few recipes on my channel. I'm going to put a link in the description box so you can check it out. I 
I cut the plantains into little bits and now I'm going to add some water and the next thing add some salt for taste and allow it to cook. You're probably asking yourself how will you differentiate the plantain when you cook everything together? If you look at the pot you see that the ripe ones are like really yellow and the ripe one is white. So when it boils you are going to see that they will be differentiated by their color. Now that the goat meat is ready, we're going to add some water and we're going to add some seasoning. So this is going to be pepper soup seasoning. I have different brands of pepper soup seasoning that I use and I added all three different types <laughs> just because it gives me a different taste than using a particular one. You can find pepper soup spices in a lot of supermarkets. If you're outside Nigeria, you can check African stores or you can make some yourself which might be difficult because you need access to the ingredients to put it together so i have on my blog a recipe for creating pepper soup spice i'm going to put a link in the description box so if you can get your hands on the real ingredients you can try to make it yourself or if not just get some from the supermarket find the one that you like the taste and use it now I'm just going to drain the water from the plantain. You can actually cook the plantain in the pepper soup stock, like immediately you cut it, you put it inside and let everything cook together. But the thing is, it's going to change the consistency of your pepper soup. It's going to make it very thick. And if you don't like that, then you should try this method. I actually changed the way I make my ukudo. Ukudo is like yam and pepper soup. <laughs> I have that recipe on my channel if you want it and this one is plantain and pepper soup you can use all sorts you can use chicken you don't have to use goat meat you can use yam you can use potatoes you can use fish catfish you can use beef assorted beef pepper soup has no limits to the variety that you can make you can make seafood pepper soup all sorts you guys fish beef chicken turkey anything you like and you can have vegetarian pepper soup as well so give that a go When you introduce the plantain back into the pot, taste for salt, seasoning, and season if you feel like you need more. When you're cooking, you use your taste buds <laughs> and you use your eyes to cook. That's how I cook. So I taste as I go along and I, if I feel like I need more, I add some more. At this point, I felt like when I tasted it, I didn't really get the pepper soup flavor. So I added some more and I allowed it to cook for just like an additional five minutes, making sure not to scatter it, just mixing it gently. And just five minutes, it's ready. For me, pepper soup is not ready until you add scent leaves. So if you can't find scent leaves, you can try basil. It works just as well. But I really, really like scent leaves. I always have it at home because I make pepper soup a lot because my family loves it. How many times did I say because? <laughs> so what I do is when the pepper soup is ready, I just cut this into little bits and transfer to the pot. It cooks within one minute and it gives such a lovely flavor and it adds color also to your dish.
like I said, when you add the vegetables to the pepper soup, you don't need to allow it cook for long anymore. In fact, just turn off the cooker and it will just simmer and cook. Mix everything together and you begin to perceive this lovely, delicious aroma. When I was growing up, this kind of meal was typically made weekends, Saturday morning especially, and then it is also perfect when the weather is cold, raining, and wherever you are, snow, this meal is perfect. It will keep you warm. This is what the finished product looks like. It was so delicious. It finished in minutes. This is one of those recipes I create that we don't have leftovers for. And typically, I don't even like leftovers for it. It should be eaten hot straight from the pot, you guys. That is how you should eat it. This is not what you're gonna put in the freezer and start warming again. I hope you like this video. Click the like button. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, why please subscribe so that you can get more recipes and videos from me i'll see you guys in my next video which will be tomorrow <laughs> bye